Hey guys, welcome to Stability Before Strength. My name is Oscar and I'll be your guide through this 13 week training plan. This is week two, day four, and this workout burns between 1,235 to 1,488 calories. We are going to start with the warm up routine. Here's the list of all the warm up drills. You can click on the link to start the warm up and then come back for part two. In the workout for today, we will start by adding some lactate threshold tempo training to mix it up a little bit. You are going to start with a 2.5 mile warm up at an easy pace, then run for 2 to 3 miles or 12 to 20 minutes at your lactate threshold pace. Then you are going to walk for 2 to 3 minutes at an easy comfortable pace, then run 1 to 2 miles or 6 to 12 minutes at your lactate threshold pace again. Then walk or jog 2 to 3 minutes at your easy comfortable pace, then do a cool down run for 1 mile at an easy pace. Now, a lactate threshold pace is about 85% of your VO2 max, which means you're breathing pretty heavily, more than usual, and you're pushing the pace, but you should be able to hold the pace you're running at for 60 minutes if you really had to. You're not going to, but if you really had to. You can click on the link to find the exact pace you should be running at based on your last race performance. It will give you guidelines of specific intensities and paces, such as your easy pace, your threshold pace, your interval pace, repetition, and many others. As soon as you're done with today's running workout, go into part three and do the exercise routine for today. Part three of the training program is a workout routine of specific running exercises to build endurance and stability, which will help you decrease the chance of injury and help you run faster. Here's the list of all the exercises for today's leg and core routine. You can click on the link and it will take you straight into today's workout routine then come back for part four. This workout burns between 124 to 248 calories if you decide to do two sets of each exercise. It should take about 20 to 40 minutes to complete. As soon as you're done with part three, go straight into a cool down routine. Here's the list of all the stretches that are included in this routine. You can click on the link to guide you through all the stretches. That's it for today. Remember that this is phase one and that each phase lasts three weeks for a total of 13 weeks before the half marathon. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful and informative. See you guys later.